Welcome back to another edition of Film Room with Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell, brought to you by Twin Cities Orthopedics. Now, coach, one of the things I love about football is it often mirrors life. Yep. And in this case, it's not always what happens to you, but how you react to it. You have to be very proud of how the team reacted on Thursday night. Yeah, it was huge. We knew uh, leaving U.S. Bank Stadium after the Cowboy game, bad taste in our mouths. Um, the opportunity to come back in front of our home, home fans four days later uh, and, and really get back to playing football the way we want to play, um, finding a way to win a football game against a really good, well-coached team. Um, I was so proud of our guys' energy, their effort. They were locked in on a plan where you don't always get a ton of reps to prepare for an opponent that does a lot of different things. I think it speaks highly about where our team's at right now. And good. And, and what's great, too, is all three phases are represented. Tonight. Exactly. You don't win a game like this on a short week without really all three phases showing up. And on a night where uh, I know it's, it's been talked about a little bit, but I can't tell you how many times pre-game meal, uh, fast Friday practice, I go up to Kinney and I say, is this the week? <laughs> is this the week? Because I just, I, I find it hard to believe we could possibly go 17 games without this guy and his special skill set and the guys, uh, other 10 guys out there blocking for him that we weren't gonna find uh, the end zone at least once this year, expecting it to happen again. Um, he's obviously set the standard for that around the league. I think he's one of the best in our league. And they gave him an opportunity here, and there's a lot to really look at uh, when we look at this. So first and foremost, setting up a left return here. Um, and really what I want to make note of as we kind of see the track there, you'll see how fast Kinney's rolling. Uh, but there's a guy right here that ha Vikings fans probably aren't familiar with. Maybe uh, diehard fans that remember uh, William Quenku in the preseason fly flying around, tackling people. He earned the right to be on our practice squad because we just love the player, the tenacity, what he means, the looks he gives on the scout team. But he got called up. I'll circle him right here as he comes down. He's going to be number 47, uh, kind of an outermost player. So just take a look right here at William right in that spot and just zone in. We'll get back to Kine and, and, the, and the seven points here in a second, but it doesn't happen. This guy gets called up. Look at him engaging, physicality, finish. And that block right there, in my opinion, along with Metellus and, and Brian Asamoah and, 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 and a guy like Nick Muse, that block right there is what springs him uh, to really do that. And we showed that to the team. They were fired up. You always know a guy's loved by his teammates when you call him up in front of the whole team. I will say 19.86. Uh, not quite, we've had a couple of uh, uh, miles per hour this year, not quite Kirk Cousins in the red zone again, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're showing one more of these clips this year where this guy's touching 20, 21 miles an hour, elite speed, uh, but this was more about the execution of all 11 in a phase and in a time in a game where we just absolutely had to have it. Huge answer to what was a, a previous touchdown right there by the previous. one of the, the great things with special teams, you see Munt, you see CJ Ham. Right, you see a lot of guys who play a lot of offense and yep. a lot of defense, and then you have the practice squad guys get yep. called up, go out there, and all those guys working together. That's what makes big plays, right? That's exactly right. And speaking of big plays, this was the go-ahead touchdown right here. And I just thought this was a great example. We had tried to get a variation of this play off multiple times in the game. We knew we were going to get some man coverage, but just kind of the cat and mouse sometimes of, of people trying to defend you, maybe different ways uh, than some of the percentages, say, coming into a game short week. Uh, Patriots threw, threw some different things at us, but we finally here uh, get our man coverage. We're going to be running basically an all-out, kind of a full max protection off of a run. We run multiple times. Look at the sell up front uh, by these guys uh, on the O-line. Johnny Munt fighting the good fight. K.J. Osborne uh, selling a, a similar kind of cross sift uh, to the flat like he does on some of our runs. And then we're going to essentially run uh, kind of a deep cross concept where Adam's going to be over the top of Justin. And really all Kirk's trying to do is he's trying to see uh, how the defense is going to play this. And uh, you got one of the best receivers on the planet uh, in Justin Jefferson kind of screaming across the field right here. You're going to see he's going to take up a lot of attention. In fact, one, two, three uh, Patriots end up going with Justin. Uh, but Adam Thielen, uh, I cannot say enough about this guy's detail, how he prepares every week, how he leads our group, and then to show up flying across the field like that. And Kirk Cousins, uh, as we take a look at the end zone, see Adam finishing that one. But Kirk Cousins, watch the pocket presence he has right here. We get uh, versus really statistics would say the number one pass rush uh, in the yeah. league as far as getting to the quarterback. But just watch this pocket right here. Kirk gets to the top. Good play action fake. Dalvin's sitting in there making sure we're secure. Here's Johnny Munt 
against a really good pass rusher fighting the good fight right there. We've got a wall of Vikings offensive linemen and what you're going to see is a pocket right here for Kirk to go through his progression. He's going to try to throw the ball to Justin screaming across right there. Three Patriots players go with him and you'll see him right at the last second. He wants to throw it to Justin, but watch the progression right here. Snap, feet and eyes all traveling together. His arm starts and just about that time, as accurate as you can possibly be, a huge game-changing play for us right there. Yeah, and the, again, the protection allows him the time to go through those progressions yep. and make a play like this. So it's fantastic it's, it, job up front. And, and, and you can't say enough about those guys. It's hard. Uh, yes. every, it seems like every week, and this week, again, will be no exception. Every week, there's pass rush and relentless pursuit of the quarterback. Everybody's trying to hit the quarterback. Uh, they know our weapons on the outside. How do you try to limit the damage from guys like Justin Jefferson and I'm feeling you try to get to the quarterback and Kirk's willingness to stand in, rely on the guys around him and make some huge plays were absolutely big time for us. And then defensively, uh, some big stops in the second half. The Patriots got some yards on us. They moved the ball. They had a good plan coming in on a short week. Uh, but to get the third down stops they did, the red zone stops were huge. And I thought this was a big play on third down, highlighting the guy that's been making plays for us all year long and for a long time here in Minnesota, number 99, Daniil Hunter. You're just going to see pure athleticism. Uh, this guy is one of the pure athletes at the position in the league. You pair him with, the, with Zadarius Smith and some of the other guys we have. And as we look at it from the end zone, you're going to see him. And, and basically a lot of uh, offensive tackles, when they know they've got to block him one-on-one, -on -one, I know Trent Brown well. He's got a lot of different tools in his toolbox to try to block elite rushers like Daniil. He's going to try to go low uh, and potentially uh, try to cut out Daniil from, uh, instead of having to block him up top, expecting that ball to come out, marriage of Russian coverage, allowing uh, you know Mac Jones to hold this thing. But watch the closing speed right here for him to fight off the cut and then go make this play. Bam, right like that. Ball may or may not have come out. There's our guys. They've been phenomenal all year getting the ball out. Anytime it is even close, you're going to see purple jerseys picking that ball up and running the other way, uh, trying to change the game. To rush the passer is one thing, but to you know, see that you're getting cut, give them the dead leg and stay on your feet, that's pretty amazing. It's amazing, and it's uh, plays he's been making for a long time, and we're going to need a few more of those here through the last six games of the season and then hopefully some bonus football. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. We will see you here next week right here on Coach Film Room with Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell.